What's up YouTube? It's me Sony Beats and today I'm gonna be going through more sound design. I made a video already, I haven't edited it. It was a video of me showing the stuff I learned about sound design so far and I wanna stay consistent with sound design. I've been having fun with it. So I think I'm gonna just make it a series type thing. Just have a video come out every few months. I'm about to go on vacation so I'm making this video before I leave. I just wanna show some of the sounds I made. I think I'm gonna do it by month or like bi-weekly or something because I just made a project and named it Drum Kit Test. I've been using this for all the sound design for this month so far so i think starting 2022 i'm just gonna name it sound design january and then do all my sound design in there for the month of january so on and so forth today i'm just gonna show some of the stuff i've designed what i use to make it play it so you can hear how it sounds and then if you're into sound design you can give me more tips on how to make it sound better i mostly want to make like hip-hop or lo-fi sounding stuff because that's the kind of music i make for the most part so if you have any tips to help me out with that let me know in the comment section down below but uh we'll start off with this group it's just drums so i made all these in serum and then i just processed them with a bunch of different plugins mostly arteria fx and uh sound toys stuff decapitator for kicks usually i also got this polycomp compressor thing and it works pretty well with kicks i think i use uh the slate digital fresh air a lot for hi-hats or snares i've used this like once it's another free compressor i got and i've been using some of the o zone stuff i found out neutron 3 i never really opened it when i got elements but there's a transient shaper included in it this is pretty good for creating drums also ott is just good for creating sounds in general i've also used this vintage tape thing a lot and the low end focus a lot so pretty much my process is to just click on a plug-in and hope that it sounds good if it doesn't i just take it off i'm gonna go through and play the drums and all the sounds i made this was my first attempt at sound design of the month This is a kick I made. It looks kind of weird. It sounds all right, I guess. I don't know if people would use that. I think the snare is more usable than anything else. It sounds kind of like a rim shot more than like a normal snare. And then I made some effect sounds. I think I used the snare to create most of these. And the sound coming off the snare is from the filters I put on here. So I got this big fat Skeeter on the hi-hats, this filter mini, and the square randomizer. And I also made some one shots. All these were made in a uh, serum. I also made these pop perk sounds. So those were most of the sounds I made on my first run. I also made these chords. I think I made these the same day when I made these drums. But um, yeah, this one's using one of the one shots I froze from that session back there. So I started with this one and then I added things to all these. I added Kickstarter to this one. I also put reels on all of them and this EQ. Yeah, I just added this EQ on it. Get rid of the low end and the very high end. And then this is another sound I made.
that was also made in this session when I was making drums and one shots. All these were made in serum. This is another one I made in serum. Sounds kind of like a harmonica. I added a bunch of effects to it though, so it probably didn't sound like that anymore. I didn't freeze this one, so you can actually see. I uh, had these two shapes on the oscillators, and then I created the envelope. I don't know if I put this LFO on anything, but this is what it sounds like. It reminded me of a harmonica. I made a bass in another, I think I did a beat breakdown on it, the operator beat breakdown. So I saved that bass and I just used it for this too, since it was a bass I basically made from scratch because I just used a analog thing in Ableton or analog operator, whatever they call it. And then this is another sound I made that sounded kind of like a horn. sounds like a synthesizer horn. So that's what this sounds like. So I'm, I'm gonna play this with the uh, drums I made up here. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did with these double cakes. They're a little off. All right, so next session, I think I just made more drums. I was trying to practice getting good at drums, so that's what I mainly focused on. This is what I made in here in this session. So I made two different kicks. This is the first one, I don't like this kick. But I think I'm gonna keep it because the beginning of it sounds pretty good. And I feel like you could use it and mix it with another kick later on maybe. Let me know what you think. And then I made another kick right here. I like this one better. I like the low end thumpier kicks, but I still feel like it could be better. But I'm just not sure what to do to make it sound better. After that, I made a snare. And I made another one to layer it with. That's so what they sound like on top of each other. I think that sounds like a decent lo-fi snare. And I made some more hi-hats. So I made those hi-hats and then I made sound effects. And I was just messing around in Serum and came up with this. I think it's pretty similar to making a laser. It's just like a slow laser. And then I made this in Serum. The submarine sound, I froze it in the session up here and uh, I put reverb and a crystallizer on it and then I used the same pops right here. I made a knock, it could also be, I think I could make this a snare too, but it sounds like someone knocking on a door or something. I added delay to it, made a knock delay. Yeah, it was a ping pong delay on it. That was pretty much it for that. And then this is when I came in to show how I made the drums in the last video. I made a kick, snare, hi-hat, and open hi-hat. And I made the pattern to the same chords up here. And this is also all in serum. So I think the snare and the hi-hat sound good. The open hi-hat sounds kind of bad. And the kick sounds, it doesn't sound like it has enough low end. But I also made it pretty quick for the video. It could turn into decent sounds. Let me know if you have any suggestions on how to make it sound better. I'll play them together with the, with the chords and all that. And then yesterday, I made some more sounds in Serum. I was practicing piano and I was practicing these chords and then I, I just decided to try to make my own sound to go along with them. Yeah, I'm gonna turn all this stuff off so you can hear the original sound I made. So I made this, it's a pretty simple sound. It's like a oblong basic sine wave. And this is what it sounds like with no effects on. And then I'll add the effects as I play it. I just came in here and used the envelope for the cutoff and 
thing I use it for the distortion. I put an envelope on the filter, put an LFO on the, this is like the sense, instead of moving a whole semitone, it just moves back and forth from minus and plus sense, just a little bit. And then I have a panning here and here. Now I think that's pretty much it for all the modulation. And I only, I only use one of the oscillators. So this is what it sounds like with just the sound from Serum. I put an EQ on it, I think to get rid of the plucky sound because it kind of sounds plucky at the beginning. All right, after I made the sound, I put a smooth EQ on it. Some reverb. Another EQ. So after I got that chord progression down, I came to Serum and created a sound. I just used this shape. It's basically an oblong sine wave. And then I just put LFOs and envelopes on everything. There's an envelope on the FX. There's an envelope on the distortion and the cutoff. There's also an envelope on the, the mix for the filter. And then I put an envelope on the fine. It's just the amount of sense that it's off. Then I put an envelope on the pan here and the pan here. So this is what the original sound sounds like. And I added EQ. Reverb. LFO. This LFO controls the high pass filter and the reverb down here. It'll only play the reverb off of certain frequencies depending on where the high pass filter is at. Then I added another EQ. And then I added effect tricks on top of that. So the Fetrix adds phaser, stutter, and uh, scratch loop, and I automated it to turn on and off uh, throughout the progression. The next sound I made was also in Serum. Uh, I think, yeah, all, all the sounds I made in this session were in Serum. And so I was just scrolling through, clicking, and I uh, randomly came across the shape and turned all this stuff off. And so uh, I came up with this shape and then came up with the envelope, and I added LFOs to a bunch of stuff, cut off, pan, filter, pan, the fine and octave. And then after that, that's when I added the other oscillator right here, which is the normal sine wave. Then I added some reverb. After that, I added micro shift. I think it's a chorus plugin. And I added more EQ. And then I added the same effect tricks from the last one. So I came in here, found another random oscillator, Acid, and then I was messing around with it. I added chimes to it, modulated the pitch, modulated the pan, modulated the cutoff. I think this is, stands for flanger or something like that. Flanger filter, maybe. And I added another filter here with a cutoff attached to one of these LFOs. And this is what the normal sound sounds like before the EQ reverb delay ensues.
I thought it could sound better, so I just added a bunch of stuff to it. Reverb. Delay. The delay kind of adds those little laser sounds in the background. After that, I added two to get rid of harsh frequencies. After I came up with the chords and the patterns, I made a new set of drums. And this is what the new drums sound like. So I made all these in Serum. I think I just use different compressors and plugins afterwards. The way I come up with kicks is pretty much the same. I usually use that same sine wave. I think once I use the oblong side wave to make a kick, I'm not sure if I did or not on this one. And then the snare kind of sounds like a clap, honestly. It's more of a clap, I, I think. Yeah, it sounds kind of like a clap or a mix of a clap and a rim. It originally sounded like this one, and then I cut off the beginning of it and just made it its own snare. I think the processing is pretty much the same on both of them. It might be slightly different on one. I like the way this one sounded too, so I kept it. And then for the hi-hats. I think the open hi-hat came out better than the past ones. And here, I made the bass and serum also. I think I just used the sub only and then shaped it the way I wanted it to sound. Added an ozone low end thing. I think I just put a preset, a bass warmer on it, put decapitator, and I think I turned the thump on also and did a steep high cut. And then I added a compressor sidechain to the kit. So after that, I made a laser. It's frozen up here, but this is where I made the original laser. And I just came in here, made the laser sound in Serum. So this is what it sounded like by itself. And then I added a phaser, micro shift, which is like the chorus plugin, pan man, and delay tape. And I use, I think the difference between most of these is, is the delay tape that I use. So that's the first laser. Second one's the same, but has a different delay tape on it. It just has a default. And then this one has stereo sweep delay on it. So I froze all those and put them here. So that's the first laser all by itself. And then I combine the bottom two. So this is what everything sounds like together. So 
So that's what I made yesterday. And then today I experimented with pigments for the first time. They just came out with an update. So, so this video is a little too long. So I'm just gonna put the pigments part in its own separate video. In that video, I'll be showing my process for designing sounds and how I made the drums that I made in this session. Um, that'll probably come out a week after this video. So stay tuned for that. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share if you liked the video. Check out my music. And thanks for watching. You know, throughout the years, a lot of people have asked me, Brad, why the scar? I always tell them the same thing. Why don't you mind your own f***ing business, pal? I'm a car zoom stock. I have more f***ing people telling me what, I, what I want to wear. So don't be afraid to express your true self. And remember, fashion first, okay? I guess that wraps up another mystery. mystery.